Ooh, a jug. Ooh. There's two hammocks with guys sleeping in them. The first hotel is full. It's your plans can change at the drop of a hat. <laughs> I think we're losing it now. Driving our UK van around the world can sometimes be pretty stressful. After being denied our Chinese visa, we thought that we had plenty of time left on our Thai visa to drive the 1,143 miles back to the bottom of Thailand to cross back into Malaysia. But after being informed that we can't enter Malaysia without a new carnet, which has to be sent from the UK, we don't have nearly as much time as we thought. In fact, our Thai visa may well run out before the carnet arrives. I have a feeling it's going to be a very busy week. With age comes wisdom. With travel comes understanding. Sandra Lake. Good morning. Oh, today is the start of our mad drive back to Malaysia. I'm gonna miss this view this morning, but we gotta get the van loaded up, get the map on the side of the van, tell you guys the plan, because it's gonna be a very busy week ahead. Okay, let me show you the plan. So we are currently up in the north of Thailand here in Prey. The plan is we have to drive all the way down past Bangkok, all this journey here down to Phuket where hopefully the Carnet will arrive. And then we have to drive down pack past Koh Lanta all the way back to Danok, the town where we got uh, stuck uh, at the border for nine days. And then we've got to drive all the way back to Kuala Lumpur and then shipping out of Port Klang. It's a 27 hour drive, which in reality, 35 to 40 hours of driving of real time. You ready to hit the road? <laughs> okay, so we're just leaving <laughs> and they're giving us a very nice little gift there. Look, it's a little rabbit. Oh. Bunny the rabbit. Bunny, Bunny the rabbit. The rabbit. <laughs> if you are in Thailand, I don't care if you're five hours away, you should come to pray and stay here. It is like R&R &R at its finest. It's been just such a lovely break. And you get dog love. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Freya. <laughs> okay, thanks very much, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, and uh, we would definitely be back. Yeah. We're just not sure when. Following the rest of your travels. No, you got, if Malaysia don't let us back in, we might be back sooner yeah. than you think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's hit the road. Let's go back to Kuala Lumpur. Let's go back well, we've got to go to Phuket yeah. first. We've yeah. got to go to Phuket and hopefully we get a car now. This has been one of the most idyllic stays we've ever been to. And uh, if you're thinking, are they sponsored because they're saying such nice things? No, we paid full rate and we would pay it again. It was absolutely wonderful. So the thing about overlanding is your plans can change at the drop of a hat and you have to know how to adapt. So uh, we're adapting. We never thought we'd have to go back to uh, Kuala Lumpur, but we are, and uh, we just embrace it. So we're gonna take you on that mad journey. Yeah, just sit back, relax, enjoy the Thai countryside, and we'll share the adventure along the way. It's a beautiful sunny day today. Uh, we're up bright and early. We are up at uh, seven. It's now just after eight o'clock, we're leaving, so the traffic's gonna be nice and quiet so we can get a good start today. The, uh, the route we're taking, we, uh, we're gonna avoid um, Bangkok and all the toll roads around Bangkok, because although Google says it's actually the fastest, um, after getting stuck in traffic leaving, I'm not convinced. So we're gonna take the more scenic country routes. Um, routes? Roads, I did just say routes. Um, I did. It's too early in the morning. I'm on my first coffee. Um, but we're going to take the scenic roads 
um, because they're always nicer, even though we are in a hurry. Um, the missions to get down to Phuket in four days. But yeah, this is uh, village life here in the north of Thailand. People just waking up, setting up their stalls and stands. What was really interesting as well, the guy from the homestay was explaining to us that we could hear like somebody on a megaphone and they were saying they don't have like an internet Facebook page for the community. Mm. They'll just speak out and say, oh, a baby was born today to this family and <laughs> this person died today from this family. And um, Mrs. Smith from so-and-so is selling her potatoes for this price today. <laughs> and I was like, wow, that's so amazing. And it's not like a, a, a horrible shouty kind of system. There's just a lovely lady's voice. There you go. It's lovely, just twinkling <laughs> away in the background. With the temple behind, look at that. You can't get bored of looking at those beautiful sights in the morning, can you? Look. No, it's Love funny because it. I can imagine that prey one day will be similar to like Chiang Rai, but it hasn't been found yet, so it's it's just the perfect getaway place. You know, it will be a miracle if our Carney arrives in Phuket before our Thai visa runs out. But if we can get south, We'll be ready to collect it and, if needed, make a mad dash for the border. You really can still see the haze, but there's still a lot of smoke in the air from all the uh, wildfires that are burning. And in fact, last night when we looked up towards the, uh, the mountains, you could see big areas of land being burnt, which uh, apparently they burn it because it uh, releases mushrooms that they're able to find under the leaves and the the, the overgrowth, so uh, they burn it and then they go mushroom picking. I didn't expect to see that uh, first thing this morning driving through town. There's a massive sleeping Buddha in front of us. I think we're in Prey Town Centre. Oh, we get to stop at the lights right in front of the Buddha. I wish we had a bit more time to look around. Well, that just means we have to come back. Definitely. And I know where I'm staying. <laughs> Me too. So after uh, the event at the Golden Triangle a few days ago where we met the bikers and they all rushed over to say you're famous in Malaysia from that police incident and people have started doing memes about you. <laughs> it's just crazy. I don't really know what happened from one short video clip. No, admit it, you had to Google what a meme was. I did, I we did. didn't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. If you don't know, Google it. Um, so yeah, there is a little bit of nerves about going back into Malaysia. So because of that police incident, there were so many newspaper articles that the police were looking for us uh, because they, uh, they wanted to do our statement of what had happened, which we did at the Malaysian Embassy in Bangkok. But I, I haven't seen any news releases saying that we've cooperated. So we could cross the border into Malaysia and suddenly find that every policeman is pulling us over going, the police headquarters want to talk to you. So uh, yeah, there is a little bit of nerves and trepidation um, for that. That's a sight you don't see every day. There's a cow, a whole cow, stood in the back of the truck in front of us. We're just going over some hills here. The view would be spectacular this morning if it wasn't for the uh, the haze of the smoke. It really is smoky up here today. In case you're wondering why there's crocodile statues 
Uh, this region of Thailand has lots of crocs. No, no swimming. swimming. <laughs> we said that together. <laughs> yeah, I'm not swimming. <laughs> Selling the uh, flowers for the temples again. They do have a lot of uh, police stops there. There's another one on the other side of the road. We didn't get stopped on the way up. They seem to all be on this side of the road. And now today they all seem to be on that side of the road, or most of them. Let's see what they've got. Rice. It's warm. Very warm. How posh is this for a service station? Well, you got music playing. <laughs> What's really funny is all the uh, urinals are always outside at the back if you're looking for them. But they never smell because they're outside. I don't know whether you can see, but at the top they've got these really flat little like swift nests. And then just outside the restaurant they put plastic bottles all the way along in the groove so the birds can't make nests. Okay, we're going to go and get some lunch noodles, chicken rice. And there's pork and rice. Pork. Pork. Is that the sauces? That looks like chili and soy. Oh my god, that looks so good. For me, I'm gonna have this one. Okay, and one, this yeah. one, mm. and rice. Yeah, the front cap. This looks nice as well. Look, they got pork and uh, veg, Vegetables. the eggs that are cooked in the juice. They're hard the boiled and then cooked mm. in the juice, so it's calm. Mm. Takes the color. Mm. Mm. Kamu. Ah. Kamu. Kamu. <laughs> 100 and no oh, just okay cap on cap <laughs> and um, and this one goes with the pork ah yeah, uh -huh, cap on cap <laughs> thank you the gentleman's just explaining there's a different sauce for each uh, type of dish so yeah i've got one like this to go with the pork and rice marianne's got another one Oh, that soup is delicious. I'm not sure whether it's spicy. That Let's soup try. is not spicy. Mmm, that's like a, almost like molasses, soy, and a little bit of, a very little bit of chili. And then the one from Marianne's is like, oh, hot, super hot. It tastes a bit like the one you get for the chicken rice normally, but yeah, it's very spicy. Right, bon appetit. That looks amazing, isn't it? It does. After that delicious lunch, time to hit the road again. Do a few more hours. I just love that they let the birds like live here, not by the restaurant, but everywhere else. <laughs> Okay, that is a first. There's two hammocks with guys sleeping in them. <laughs> I have never in all my life ever seen anybody hanging in a hammock on the back of a truck whilst you're driving. That's amazing. <laughs> all the way down the, uh, the road this, uh, this afternoon, there's this lovely pink blossom. It looks a bit like cherry, but I don't know what it is. Lovely. Next to this uh, traffic light, they got a massive dragon, which looks inflatable. I assume that's for Chinese New Year. Although we've seen a lot of Christmas decorations that are still up, so I don't know how long <laughs> this is going to be up for. Yeah, they do seem to keep the Christmas decks all year round here, I think. Saves them putting up next time. Just driving past a lorry loaded with sugar cane. Look at that. That's quite impressive. <laughs> So uh, the sun is starting to make its little descent. It's now five o'clock, we're still going. Good job, Marianne. You're welcome. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna try and push forward another uh, 
an hour and a half because it takes the pressure off a little bit further down the line and we're energized we're feeling good we're feeling great and you have screwdrivers and good drivers and i'm a good driver oh that's good arriving in Ratchaburi and uh, the sun is going down so we're going to uh, see if we can find somewhere to park up sleep for the night. All along here the road is actually sparkling. I've never seen sparkle roads before. Sparkle? <laughs> I think we're losing it now. We've lost it. We're stuck in traffic. We only got maybe five ten minutes into the town centre. Okay the first hotel is full but we've uh, managed to find another one Four minutes drive away. Da, 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 da. Let's try this one. Oh, okay. oh wow, that's great. Oh, that's so good. Cap on cap. Cap on cap. There you go, guys. Nice double bed, aircon, telly, fridge, the standard. Shower. Lovely shower and uh, all for £17 a night. So that's it, we're going to crash. We'll see you in the morning. <clears throat> so with all these route changes, it's caused us to have so much more work. Things like arranging the carne, we've got to book the shipping, the flights, the hotels, get visas. It's a lot. Doing the carne, I was very pleased that I didn't put off getting Surfshark VPN. Because to get our carne, we had to do a bank transfer. It was the mother of all mothers of bank transfers. 15,500 pounds. That is most of our life savings. But by doing bank transfers on the road, on public Wi-Fi, we risk losing a lot more than that, which is why we always use Surfshark. Because believe it or not, there's hackers out there just waiting to hack you. But by using Surfshark, it creates an encrypted tunnel, which keeps you and your data safe when you're surfing online. It's a bit like having your own personal bodyguard. I mean, can you imagine how stressful it would be if we got hacked whilst trying to transfer our life savings? And the good news is that the monthly cost is only about the cost of two cups of coffee a month. And that's a lot less than a personal bodyguard. I've been watching you all night from across the room. Why don't you go back there, keep watching. And Surfshark's one of the only VPN companies that allows use on an unlimited number of devices which means you not only keep yourself safe, but also all your family. And right now is a great time to sign up because we've managed to get you an exclusive deal. By signing up using the code TREADTHEGLOBE, you get an extra three months completely free. The link's in the description below. Good morning, folks. It is just before eight o'clock the next morning. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't bring any clean clothes with us. We just grabbed, we literally fell out of the van, knackered last night, came in, crashed, got up early again today. And we've got another six hour drive today. We're gonna head down to Chumphon. Um, but we did get some good news this morning. The Carne has left the UK. It is with DHL, it is now in Germany. So it's on the way. So fingers crossed it still arrives on time. That is the problem. But anyway, the sun is shining, I can see it outside. Let's hit the road. That's great, the lady in, in the uh, apartments where we were just staying said, there's free coffee over there. We can go and get one. We always take our pillows. <laughs> I'm really fussy with my pillows. You know, sometimes you just get those pillows that are like soft and cushion your head enough. That's me. Weird but true. The advantage of traveling in your van, you get to bring your own pillows that you can't do when you're backpacking. But it's a lovely morning this morning. The sun is just uh, peeking up behind the trees there. It's nice to hit the road this time in the morning because it's a lot cooler. That'll do. Got one for the road.
such a nice time in the morning as the sun's just coming out. It uh, make, always makes everything look so much nicer with the, uh, the gold colored sunlight. Off to work on a sidecar. <laughs> There's so many of these sidecars, but they seem so practical. There's another one coming the other way, isn't there? I think. That one's got a motorbike on it. <laughs> it's carrying somebody. And a dog. Did you see and this a dog? dog? <laughs> Honestly, these morning sights are the best part of the drive. Right, quick pit stop for a refuel. We used three quarters of a tank, just over three quarters of a tank yesterday. Not quite sure why, but we always seem to come to PTT. <laughs> That's Chris grinning, love him. I think we come to PTT, you just get used to a petrol station when you travel in a country. There's just something that you trust about a particular one and we always take recommendation and a few people have told us that PTT is, is like the most famous one and guaranteed feel because we have to look after our girl Trudy to make sure the best goes in her little heart. 36 pounds later and we're all filled up. So after bypassing Bangkok uh, through the countryside, we've just joined uh, Highway 4, which has taken us all the way down the east coast of Thailand, a straight road, main road all the way down. And the traffic's picked up a little bit. A lot of you ask, how do we cope with all these sudden changes of route, route plans and denied visas and, and trouble that we get on the road? Um, and it's easy to get stressed and really worried about it. But the reality is that you can't actually do um, anything about it and you just have to go with it. And it's always trying to make sure you've got a plan A so you know if it goes wrong, you automatically switch to plan B, which is what we're doing now. Um, and hopefully it all works. If not, there will be another plan C um, because we're determined to get around the world and life throws these curveballs at you. And it's how you deal with them that, uh, that makes the difference. The truck in front of us, the back is literally full of chicken meat. few crazy overloaded trucks and I saw this I have no idea what is that? What is that? What's like, is it some kind of sugar cane or something? It's like a root, some kind of root that's slightly pink. I'm not sure. If anybody knows what that is let me know. We just had a car from Malaysia waving frantically at us and filming us as we drove past. So, yeah, I have no doubts that it might be a little bit mad, um, our, our journey back through Malaysia. I'm not sure they're expecting us, but they're going to get us. Okay, we've arrived in the town of Chumphon, which we stopped in on the way up. We're gonna go and see if we can get a room at uh, the place we stayed on the way up because it had good parking for Trudy. And then uh, that we can rest up for the day and then go again tomorrow. Looking at the color of the sky, it actually looks like it might rain this evening or this afternoon. And we haven't had rain, I don't think, since we were last here. Because last time we were here, it absolutely hammered it down. Chalicha Resort. Here we go. It's empty parking for you, Marianne. Okay. 
we're back. We're going to end today there and uh, we'll see you in the morning for the next adventure as we continue south and hopefully we have a little bit more news about the carne. It's a bit grey this morning. How are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> we're knackered, basically. <laughs> Okay, today isn't so bad. Today we're going to do five hours. We're going to try and stay um, at the farm stay where we stayed with all the ducks and the chickens and the buffalo because it's yeah. just lovely. We've got to hit the road. The good news is, according to DHL, I looked online this morning, our carne is now in Bangkok. So it shouldn't take more than a few days to get, to get down to Phuket. So uh, our fast driving is for a good cause. We should meet it at the same time. Although there isn't any fast driving, it's just safe driving. There you go. I can't believe we're hitting the road again. It feels so weird to backtrack. But yeah, we had a nice dip in the pool last night, which is great for the brain. In fact, we nearly forgot the swimmers in the bathroom. It's uh, just after seven o'clock in the morning. It's been a lovely little spot again, it has, uh, it's been very convenient. What's mad is last time we came, this, this field here was all planted with trees and uh, it's all been cleared just in the space of a couple of weeks. Now I'm in the wrong lane again. It's okay, you can go straight because that's silver car, yeah. Sometimes these lanes, they, they get a bit confusing because there's a U-turn lane and a, a turn right lane, so it's easy to move over a bit too early and block it. You're going to have to wait. We're stuck. Actually, I'm not stuck. Good job, Maria. A little bit chaotic, everyone's going to school, I think. It's that time of the day. It's a fascinating place to drive around just to see everything is done so differently from, uh, from back home. It's, every drive is an adventure in itself. See the little petrol pump. <laughs> That's great. They're like Queen operated, aren't they? Yeah. We've got little uh, stands opening up this morning selling breakfast and snacks for people. It smells Why did the chicken run across the road? Because Trudy was going at Trudy it. Was <laughs> I don't think I caught that, but yeah, two chickens just quickly ran across the road. Beware of trains. <laughs> We're all good. No automatic crossings here. <laughs> Got a massive uh, golden Buddha standing above the trees just there. Look, let's see, it's coming into view in a second. There it is. Look at that. That's the biggest one we've seen. Yeah. Didn't take long for the sun to burn through the clouds, and that's why we left so early because it's so much nicer driving in the early morning before the sun comes up and uh, come midday when you're driving full into the sun uh, it does get quite intense through the windscreen uh, with the aircon on or not <laughs> they give us a big wave <laughs> i love that Thailand's been a super, super friendly country, hasn't yeah, it? Everyone's very friendly. been so lovely. Amazing. OK, 
Okay, we've uh, come off the main road uh, that goes down the east coast of Thailand. We're cutting across the middle uh, towards Ranon, uh, towards the east coast. And we're coming up through the mountains and the drive through the mountains is stunning. Great views over the little valley there. There's a river down at the bottom. Lovely trees. Ooh, look at that. It's just a really magical drive this morning. We're now joining the uh, main road that runs down the eastern. Oh, watch out. Oh, leader now. We nearly didn't make it any further, but yeah, we made this to the road that runs down the, uh, the east side of Thailand down towards Phuket. Here we go, Parami Farm Stay. So yeah, if you recognize this uh, road from a previous video, that's because we were here probably, oh, I don't know, three weeks ago. And yeah, we've come back. That's a great recommendation, isn't it? If you keep coming back, or if you want to come back and stay a couple of days, then this is the spot. Yeah, definitely. It was quiet, lovely, really friendly, nice food which is great because it's half past 12 now and I'm flipping starving. We timed that well. <laughs> there it is. You're back. <laughs> How are you? So much. We came back. Okay, we had a delicious lunch and uh, we've got one of the, uh, the little chalet rooms booked like we stayed last time this is going to be our base uh, for the next probably two days until uh, we get notification from DHL that the uh, the package has arrived in Phuket there you go this is where we're going to be staying Trudy's all parked up there safe <sighs> there you go Marianne you're on your own. We've been naughty. <laughs> We've been naughty. We've been naughty. We've been naughty. <laughs> that evening we relaxed and enjoyed some great food in a beautiful setting. Will our carne arrive on time? Will we be able to get back into Malaysia? Subscribe and we'll let you know next Sunday.